people over here. We're speaking Shoshone and Cherokee. Man, Cherokee, you bear, man. And, and another thing, what's up with them calling soccer football? Man, you, you ever watch soccer? Man, that's a boring game, man. Yeah. I'll tell you what soccer is. Soccer's for little girls, man. Football, now that's an American sport. It, it teaches you good, wholesome American values, man, like like stealing other people's land by force and, and wearing tight pants while you do it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about being a man, Laszlo. Something you wouldn't know anything about from the sound thing. I'll tell you, I bet you play wimpy stuff like like touch football and, and, and basketball. Look, I'm running around... When trouble looms, the fool turns his back, while the wise man faces it down. The Colombian cartel have ignored repeated requests to leave our interests in liberty well alone. Now they are negotiating terms with the Jamaicans in order to humiliate us further. They are finalizing a deal across town. Take one of my men, steal a yardy car, and go pay your respects to the Colombians. Our honor demands that you leave no one alive! Hello, I am Fernando Martin, the founder of Fernando's New Beginnings, a revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. We understand how two kids in a mortgage can take the passion out of your life. With our three-step program, you'll rediscover romance guarantees. Hi, my name's Phil. I've got three kids, two cars, and a mortgage. My love life is going to stale, even before my wife's car accident. Then I called New Beginnings. Thanks to Fernando, I'm still married. But on Wednesday afternoons, I meet Barbara in a hotel by the terminal. See? The passion she's back. Phil's marriage is saved, and his kids will have a daddy to look up to. Call New Beginnings today. Cinco, 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 nueve dos, nueve dos. It will be a miracle. I guarantee it. Fernando's New Beginnings. We turn an ending into a new beginning. Mom, there's a package for you. But I didn't order anything. What's this? How sweet. <laughs> Gee Willikers, it's a puppy. Everybody loves a puppy. And now you can ship one anywhere just by logging on to PetsOvernight.com. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. <laughs> Plaguing Liberty City? Oh, caller, you're on the air. Wow, I got through. Uh, Laszlo, I think your last two callers are a perfect example of manners in the city. People are rude, and they don't seem to care about Watch anything but right themselves. Guy. Perfect example. The other day, I stopped at the store to pick up an exercise bar because I hadn't had breakfast or lunch. So I go up to pay, and the lady's like, $1.25, please. So I get out my checkbook, and the guy behind me is like, oh, come on, lady, you don't have $2? dollars And I said, as a matter of fact, moron in Liberty City calling into this show. I mean, people think that I have no feelings whatsoever. Exactly. Uh, another perfect example. The other day, I'm over at the hospital to have lunch with my girlfriend, Sheree, and this maniac comes right up on my bumper, flashing his light, and I'm like, hey, guy, the light is red. You can't just come up behind me calling me and flashing his light. Then he gets over this megaphone and says, to the woman in the teal my bodsuit monstrosity, please move to the side. Can you believe it? I mean, who has a megaphone rigged in their car? People are so obnoxious these days. And rude. I mean, I tell my nanny, my kids can manner. You know, I think that's a lesson to us all. All right, hello, next caller. You're on Chatterbox. Hello, Laszlo. Hmm. Did that woman say she was a nanny? Because Freddie needs a nanny. She's a very naughty boy. Oh, no nannies. Let's go to our next caller. All right. Colonel James T, United States Marine Corps, 2nd Battalion. Laszlo, that caller made a really valid point. These kids today have no respect for authority. And there is one thing that would whip them into shape. Let me guess, the, the military. That's right. The military teaches you respect, obedience, and it gives you a good pitch. These 
kids that thought they were going to be millionaires, look where the super information highway has gotten them. Nowhere. It's a dead end. Uncle Sam takes care of his boys. And some girls. If more people would join the military, this would be a better country! I tell you. <laughs> shrapnel in my head, so I can come back here and have a bunch of hippies deny history. Those Aussies are ruthless. They even wire kangaroos with explosives. Come hopping into camp. Their box. Yeah? Is that Laszlo? Yes, it is. Who's this? My name ain't important. It's real unimportant, okay? Uh, no, not really. I mean, this is a radio show. People usually tell us their name. My name is real unimportant. If you want to keep being a wise guy, you'll find out just how unimportant. Like, unimportant, I just got shot in the head, unimportant. Ah! So clear. Uh, yes. Why are you calling in today? Because I need some advice. I ain't any of that shrink shit. Uh, if you swear again, we're gonna have to cut you off. This is a family show. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just a little unhappy. I'm a bit agitated. Real angry. It's my mom. She don't think I'm a real man. Job and woman. She treats me like a little boy. All I get is your pa this and your pa that and you ain't a real man. Tony, you're driving me freaking nuts. Well, Tony. Tony, how'd you know my name was Tony? You're tracing this call because if you are, you're gonna get real intimately acquainted with what your brains look like. My name ain't Tony, okay? Uh, okay. But my mom, she keeps going, Tony, Tony, be a real man. Stand up for yourself. Don't take Shit. But all I do is to be a good son, and I want her to show that she cares for me. Bobo escaped from an evil research laboratory where the mean old scientist genetically altered him. Uh oh, the pharmaceutical scientist is going to get you, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a gold coin. Good thing Pogo has a banana cannon. Those nasty scientists deserve to die. Now get the shampoo manufacturers before they squirt it in your eye. Here you go, Pogo. Have a diamond. You'll guide Pogo through tons of fun adventures, including saving Timmy, who fell down the well. Help! <laughs> Here you go, Pogo. Have a big watch. Rescue a cat out of that tree with your banana cannon, Pogo. Pogo to his final mission. To storm the White House with his friends and become President of the United States. Pogo the Monkey is the game kids are sure to stare at for hours. Everyone loves Pogo. Idiot Gamer called Pogo the best spring and simian game since bouncing bananas. Buy the game Pogo the Monkey today. Right, Pogo? And coming soon, Pogo the Monkey Pogo the Monkey Plastic Dolls, Pogo the Monkey Quilt Covers, and Pogo the Monkey Car Covers. With the dad who has everything, why not a Pogo the Monkey tie-in sports jacket? With the lady in your life, why not Pogo the Monkey chocolates and hygiene products so she's... All right, Liberty City, this is your talk radio show, Chatterbox, where you're... Look you up and down, baby. About it. 
I've tried everything, and I just couldn't keep those extra 200 pounds off. It started to affect my marriage. She was too big for me, then I'll sleep with anything. The abdominatrix, the thiazides, the tummy stapling. I've had my mouth sewn up, my hands chopped off. You name it, I've tried it. Yeah, except for exercising and eating right, Walkie. That's right, honey. Yeah. Then I found the Dormatron. Using a new technology called biorhythmic subconscious gymnastics, the Dormatron exercises you while you sleep. Just strap in your arms and legs, put on the Dormatron headset, then wrap yourself in a special high-voltage electric blanket. Turn it on to 11 and burn those pounds away while you have a relaxing night's sleep. Now that I've lost 280 pounds, my husband's all mine again. That's right, honey. No more escort services for me. Don't be fat a day longer than you have to. Remember, being fat can even ruin a romantic cruise. Call Dormatron now at 1-800-SLEEP-OFF-LARD or visit www.sleepofflard.com and sleep your way to a thinner, happier you. I'm a marketing manager who lives in the suburbs and commutes to work on the highway. I live alone, so of course I needed a call.